G'day, uh, Mary and I today uh, start, uh, continuing our discussion about how the human soul functions. So have, hopefully you've been enjoying the discussions up to now. I know we've been quite windbags about <laughs> in our previous discussions. We're fairly passionate about this topic. It's a very important topic that we want to discuss with you because we feel quite strongly that unless you know how the human soul functions, you don't know why things occur between your soul, your physical body and your, and your spirit body. So it's very important to know how, the, how your human soul functions. Now, what we'd encourage you to do before listening to this particular session is to look at session one, uh, which was done in April last year, April 2013, and then session two, which we did last week, which is in April 2014, uh, before you actually look at this session, which was session three of the, on the subject. In the first session, we basically discussed the principles of all of the different parts of how the human soul function in terms of the ideas or concepts. And in the second two sessions, last week and this week, what we're trying to do is just to give you more information about those particular concepts and belief systems in terms of how we can, how we can bring these concepts into reality in our day-to-day -day life and questions about how it works or how it looks like in our day-to-day -day life. So that's our primary focus with this session and it was also our primary focus with the last session that we did last week. So now what we're going to do is discuss the last three concepts. We discussed the first, I think it was four or five concepts last week and now we're going to discuss the last three concepts as a part of this introduction about how the human soul functions. So hopefully you enjoy our company while we do that.